everyone has heard the <laughs> phrase Minnesota nice. Yes. But we have you heard the phrase Minnesota kind? Well, I'm just now hearing. <laughs> yeah, for the first time today, right? Josh Newman is here in studio to explain the difference. Hi, Josh. Nice to have you back. I, I missed you the first time you were on our show. Thanks for having me. So welcome back. Uh, Minnesota Nice. Let's start with that. It's been around for, what, almost 40 years now? Yeah, looking into it, it's been, I think it was like the mid-80s is okay. when it first appeared in the Star Tribune. And it sounds like it's been around quite a bit longer than that. So do we know what Minnesota nice is? I know, we were saying it's kind of abstract. You know it, but you can't describe it. Or you know it when you see it, but there's no real like dictionary well, definition for it. And tell me what you were told about <laughs> it when you came to Minnesota. Well, when I first moved here, somebody who is from the upper Midwest said, just to prepare you, you know, everybody is so nice, they'll always give you directions, but it might be a while before somebody invites you over to their house for dinner. So I don't know if that's one definition or one description or not, but I thought, oh, okay, hmm. I feel like it's kind of <laughs> accurate, don't you, for I new people, agree. bringing new people in? Yeah, and actually, a bit. before doing what I do now, I used to be in real estate, and a lot of I'd work with a lot of people that move here from out of state. Yeah, and so they always had a very similar experience. People are nice when they meet them, but nobody ever really wants to genuinely open up and invite them into their house. So, so what's then the difference in your mind between Minnesota nice? And Minnesota kind? Well, you know, so I've done a lot of research on this lately, and kindness is kind of an, both are really great. Nice and kind, I would say that are both great things. And, but kindness is kind of that next level. And it's more of like a genuine act of, of serving somebody. It's thinking outside of yourself or doing something that's necessarily agreeable or just to be nice. It's kind of like, how can I help that person? What it's going, I think it's being inconvenient because I've really been thinking about this. And I think yeah. when I truly feel like I've inconvenienced myself to help somebody else, I think that's kindness. Going above. And how do we yeah. kind of move towards this collectively as a state? Yeah. Great question. <laughs> um, I know, that's the million dollar question, yeah, right? If so, you knew the you know, answer, we'd be there, right? And one of the, how this kind of started is, I, I started another company called Kind Lip. So it's a lip balm company. It's a reminder to speak kind words when you use it. And I wanted to market it in Minnesota because I've never really done it in Minnesota. And I was looking at Minnesota Nice, Minnesota Kind doing that. I looked at the definitions and the origins of the words. And the origin of the word nice actually means ignorant or foolish. And the origin of the word kind means kin or family. And it was just like a light bulb went off and I was like, Minnesota foolish or Minnesota family? Easy choice to make. Yeah. And how can we, especially going into a controversial political season and all that stuff, and it's like, this is something that I think can bring the state together. If we can change the flag, if we can change Calhoun to Bitamakaska, we're in that season of growing and elevating our state. Let's become known as Minnesota family. So is that kind of the hope with this, that we all look at each other as family, we start treating each other as family, and it kind of gains momentum that way? Exactly. Something that we can all focus on. We're in this boat together. We're all in this state together. How can we join together? Whether, you know, because people are going to vote different. People are going to have different thoughts, beliefs. But at the end of the day, we're all in this together. And I believe that we want the world to be a better place. And let's start with this state. Ideas on how individuals can get started and then businesses too, as far as partnerships and things like that. Yeah, I think individuals is just taking a look at yourself and being aware of the actions that you're doing. You know, if you see somebody being, one thing that I've learned a lot with Kind Lips, we have a school program, there's a lot of bullying that happens in school and on social media. So that's what I deal with on the day to day basis. And I would say for myself, in, when I was in elementary school and high school, I didn't necessarily get involved. I just kind of stayed in the sidelines, even if I didn't like somebody else's. And, and I think that's nice. Nice is like, you don't want to disrupt anything. You just kind of want to stay involved. But if when mm -hmm. kind would be like standing up for people and being like, no, that's not okay. So if you're going about your day, if you're at work or, you know, you're out in public and you see something that you don't think is right, stand up for it and interject. And I think that again, kindness is a little bit intimidating. It's hard to kind of step out, but it, but it's all, it is inconvenient, but it's worth it. So Interesting. As you describe it, I think, huh, kind or um, nice is manners and kindness is warmth, you know, and there's kind like of a, yeah. a, a, a taking it up to the next level, maybe. Yeah. And it seems like it changes every situation, you know, because they are. And again, like nice is a good thing. It's really great to be nice, you know, but I'll, I think kind is just a little bit more genuine. 
I think about that with our kids too. You know, I always tell my kids like, be nice kids, be kind kids. But like, yeah. what is the difference in having that with them? What do you see as the differences as far as like um, the positivity in our life with being kind versus being nice? So a, a quick example that comes to mind the other day, I was on a walk around the Stone Arch Bridge and I saw this girl walk by and she was not paying attention and just, I felt like she was sad. And I walked by and I got like, 10 feet past her and I was like, I should have said something to her and I didn't. And I took a big loop, came back and I saw her sitting on these stairs. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, you know, mess with it. And I started walking away and then it felt like I just turned around, walked back and said, hey, like, you just looked really sad and I just wanted to say hi and let you know that you're valued and that I see you. And we ended up having an amazing conversation. Really? And, and, and I left there and it was like, I knew that she felt better. She had just had an issue with her boyfriend, she'd on her like drama stuff, but so I left, learned all that about her, but I know that she felt, she looked completely different after leaving that conversation. Yeah. And I listened to my gut and my heart that told me to go, go say hi and talk to this person. And, and honestly, I don't know who the bigger gift was. I don't know if me saying hi to her or me actually like stepping out of my comfort zone and doing that was, was a better gift. And, and so I think that's like a good representation of kindness. What can we do ourselves to, to help other people? Yeah pick up garbage. If you see garbage on the street, pick it up, even if it wasn't you. Don't litter, you know, that sort of stuff is go out of your way to make a difference. You definitely gained a lot from that conversation that you wouldn't have had had you walked by or yeah. not said hello to her. I know. Interesting concept. Yeah. And words really matter and bring along their own connotations. Yeah. Josh, thank you so much. Thank you for, for stopping by. Me. We appreciate it. We'll post a link to MNKind on our website, minnesotalive.com.